In this video, I'm going to share with you my top six favourite art materials that I use to create abstract paintings. Hey guys, my name's Sean, welcome back to my channel. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here with me today. So there are so many different types of tools and techniques that you can use to create abstract paintings. I never just rely on one or follow a particular plan. Instead, I use a variety of methods and techniques to get the job done. My number one favourite tool has to be the palette knife. Not only do I use this to mix up the paints, but I actually use this for painting. You're able to pick up thick, juicy paints and apply it right there on the canvas. You can also work wet into wet and also cut through the paints to create some interesting marks. They're also very cheap. I bought a set of five for about five euros, but I only use this one because it seems to do everything I need and we've become really close over the last year or so. That was weird. My next material is Flow Improver by Windsor & Newton. Now I always have a spray bottle of water at hand just to spray the canvas to create that drippy effect. And I've recently been using Flow Improver. You just add a drop in into the bottle itself and it basically does what the product says. It makes the paint flow better. It improves the flow of the paint. Hmm. It works great for blending and if you're working wet into wet and you want some nice subtle transitions using sponges or palette knives, this stuff works great for that. I've also noticed that it slows down the drying time of acrylic paints because as we all know, they have a tendency to dry super quickly. Next up on my list are sponges. I should probably clean some of these, they're looking a bit manky. So I usually use sponges at the start of the painting just to cover up that white of the canvas. First I lightly spray the canvas surface using the flow improver and water and then with a healthy thick paint application on the sponge I'll give it a wipe over. Using sponges is um, again quite new for me but it's become one of my favourite tools to use. You can get that subtle transition, that sort of sweet smooth effect that works really well if you want something sort of peaceful and tranquil in your painting. For example, this one behind me is a work in progress and I've used nothing but sponges and it's looking a bit crazy at the moment. I'll also use several sponges throughout the painting depending on which colours that I'm using. For example, I wouldn't use a blue sponge to go with the white sponge or vice versa. Well, actually I could. Let's say I wouldn't use a red sponge or a green sponge because the colours might clash and make a sort of mucky brown colour. Oh, and I really must wash the sponges. You should wash your sponges too. Next up on my list is my ruler. This ruler has seen better days. So at some point throughout the painting, I will scatter wet paint everywhere on the canvas. Then I'll get the ruler and I'll hold it end by end and I would slowly drag the ruler down for the whole canvas. And this creates an amazing effect where it's like you've left the canvas outside in the rain. And I think that's absolutely beautiful for, for an abstract painting. I'll then wait for the paint layer to dry and then I'll continue with the painting accordingly. Next up on my list, an old, paintbrush. Now this is very useful to have throughout a painting. It usually sits in a basin of water next to the painting and when I need to use it I'll take it out of the water and I'll beat the living daylights out of it just to dry it off and I'll simply use it to blend some paint areas throughout the painting. And finally we have my palette. Now this is just a large piece of hardboard that sits underneath my easel and I love it because one it's large and I work very big in abstract paintings and two after every session that I have I end up with an amazing abstract within itself and it's super easy to clean I just give it a wipe with some paper towels and some water and I let it sit for a few hours and it's bone dry fantastic thank you all so much for watching I hope I've inspired you to want to create uh, a painting if you like what you saw then please subscribe to my channel and punch that little bell uh, you guys are fantastic I uh, really appreciate you being with me here today and um, I'll see you in the next video Thanks very much. Take care for now.